Hey, this is Peach Dude Man, and I think we were about to head off to the Armstrong Nebula to take care of Geth that have been seen there. Uh, I'm gonna assume that I've checked out all these planets, as per what do I usually do. Uh, Armstrong Nebula is all the way out here. Oh. All right. Normandy, Admiral Hackett here. We're getting reports of a marked increase in Geth activity in the Skillian Verge. Ooh. Surveillance drones have identified Geth outposts on four different planets in the Armstrong Cluster. We need someone to take them out. We have any idea what they're after? Hard to say. They may be just gathering intel on us. Or maybe they're setting up staging grounds for hit-and-run attacks on human colonies. It could be the first wave of an invasion. Let's hope not. We need someone to investigate this, Shepard. You can count on us. Saren is still your top priority, but you've got experience fighting the Geth. You're the logical choice to take out these outposts. Fair enough. We're transmitting all the locations of known Geth outposts in the Armstrong Cluster to the Normandy now. Admiral Hackett out. All right, so we got four systems here, and I believe each one of them as a guest, a guest, a guest outpost. So I don't know. Let's start low and go high. We'll start with Gagarin. Gagarin. So let's see. We're fighting Geth. So it would be wise to bring Tali with us. So let's say, how about each one we take Tali and then a different squad mate each time. Uh, Junthor, what do we got here? Oh, good. Make sure you're cuttings. We need more of those. Um, yeah, doing these Geth missions is where I remember you get, like, a lot of your materials doing these Geth missions in terms of, like, collectible rocks and whatnot. So that's good. I know this is the one. Rayan, Rayan Green. It's hot, but not too hot. Uh, we got here Sogglerus. Sogglerus. And here, Antum Gwajwun. Antum We got Cobalts. All right, back to Ryan Gree. Ryan, I have a fr I had a friend in high school named Ryan Gree. It's pronounced as two words instead of one. So, Tolly in this mission, who else? Uh, how about Ashley? Yeah, that's what I said. That's what we're doing. Bam. Tolly and Ashley. So, I'm probably going to check my equipment really quick cuz I haven't played in a <laughs> couple days. It's funny, I've gotten really into this Mass Effect LP, which I knew once I get uh, got out of the Citadel and got started, I would. Because I've said before, Mass Effect series is one of my favorites. And uh, that's half the reason I've been a little untalkative these last few episodes, is just I've started getting really invested in the game. Also, you know, I mean, I did so many episodes in a row, I didn't really have anything else uh, to talk about. You know, no big changes uh, in my life. Uh, oh boy, do we want to go for... Let's go for assault training first. Uh, Tali, do we have any points for you? We got three points for you. Oh boy. Hmm. Let's finish off your decryption. And then we'll do uh, your electronics next. Okay. So, view map. Uh, we'll go for the debris over here. Maybe we'll start with the anomaly. Let's start with the anomaly. So, but now it has been a couple days. Uh, I think I've talked about previous episodes. I was pretty much preparing my apartment, cleaning my apartment and stuff for uh, Easter. And that's actually what day it is today for right now. It's pretty late in the evening after Easter. My family's all gone home. I probably should be going to bed sometime soon to uh, prepare for work tomorrow and stuff. But I don't know. I'm feeling pretty good, so... I just thought I'd go ahead and play a little bit. Um, but that was fun. Um, for one thing, uh, I got a new fridge up here in my apartment, which is great. My old one wasn't cold enough to keep milk. So, I don't know. I guess one thing I'll say about me is I, I can't cook at all. I, I usually live off a diet of sandwiches, cold cereal, and pizza. And I, I couldn't do the cold cereal because I couldn't keep milk. Uh, so I had a very... Oh. Hmm. So I I, uh, I I had a very, very limited diet of just sandwiches and pizza. Um, now I can do the cold cereal again. 
so that's nice. Uh, because I got a whole bunch of cold cereal the other day that was given to me, and now I have milk and it's cold enough. So I'm happy about that. Uh, so that was one nice thing. I also got leftovers from all the Easter food, and there's some great stuff. Uh, my mom came, and she made, like, what was it, pepper jack macaroni and cheese. It is amazing. I mean, I already, I love spicy stuff, and I like mac and cheese. Man, put, putting that together, that is really, really good. I got some polonium. Uh... So, all in all, good Easter. You know, I got candy. I'm, besides spicy stuff, I'm kind of a sweet tooth. I'm not so much snackier on candy, but I will eat it if I get it. Um, gosh, if you give me cookies, those things will be gone in a day. Uh, for Valentine's Day, my fiancé got me a whole box of cookies. I think they lasted less than an hour. And it wasn't wasn't really a small box either. <laughs> Okay, we'll go to the Debris next. So, yeah, lots of good food, you know, besides the pepper jack mac and cheese, you know, uh, you know, good old mashed potatoes, meat. Oh, we had, we had pork chops. Those were, those were really good. I'm sure anyone listening to the LP right now is, is starting to get hungry. Uh, I believe this road is going to take us right up to the base, which we don't necessarily want because we're just trying to go past it right now to get to the debris. Um, might be some turrets on the way. I don't remember. Whatevs. We'll just take this road. It's the fastest way. Yeah, base is just right up there. Bye! Oh, good, there's rocks over here, too. Yeah, there's lots of rocks in these Geth planets. Um, it's also nice to see my little brothers again. Uh, gosh, one is in uh, middle school. Oh my gosh, he's he's almost as tall as me. He's going to be taller than me, definitely. Probably just in a few months, he'll be taller than me. By, by, by my wedding time, I wouldn't be surprised if he's as tall or taller than me. Uh, but, you know... Me and my brothers, my dad, we did our traditional thing, which is uh, play some games of Fortune Street. That was cool. I won the first one. Uh, my youngest brother won the second one. Uh, it would have been cool to record it, I thought. I was thinking about, you know, like I have a Fortune Street Let's Versus of my friends, one of my family. I played a lot more with my family than my friends. I, I, if you watch that, that Let's Versus of me and my friends playing Fortune Street, oh, they get sick of it. They, they're they like, yeah, let's play some Fortune Street, because I really hype it up. And then and then we get into it, and they're just like, uh, why did we agree to this? <laughs> I, I like Fortune Street quite a bit. It is, like, one of my favorite multiplayer games ever. Uh, and, uh, my dad, my dad's the same in that, so... So uh, that was that was fun. We also did um, uh, Soul Calibur. I have that also, and I've been into that because I I just you know if you're watching my Amazing Island LP, I get such a kick out of making your own characters. We just made a bunch of dumb characters and fought with each other. I think that that's a blast. Over uh, spring break, that was uh, what I did a lot with um, with my fiance and my friends over at uh, college. That's what we did. It was, I, I brought over my Soul Calibur, and we just made a bunch of dumb characters and fought each other a bunch. It was, I thought it was pretty awesome. Uh, okay, we have an overrun research outpost we gotta check out now. And, uh... So yeah, that was a lot of fun. It was very, very good weekend. Um... Yeah, I really like uh, the character customization from Soul Calibur. It gives you a lot of options. I mean, it's it's cool that you can repattern, recolor everything. It kind of reminds me of Sims, but they actually gave you kind of a lot of like set pieces, which which for me reminds me of City of Heroes, which is like the only MMO RPG I've ever really invested uh, a decent amount of time with. 
I don't know. I've never just I've never been much of an MMO guy, and the reason for that is because I I don't like continuously paying for games. I like I like paying a fee, you know, buying the game and then being able to play the game. I don't like it when it's like okay, you got to pay this amount every month. I'm just like, eh, I don't know. That just it, it seems like I got then I got to budget money to. You know, make sure I have that. Where you know, here I like I buy a game, I have the game, I can play the game. Awesome. Um, so the only one I invested much time with is, is City of Heroes because I, I like the concept. I, I played uh, World of Warcraft for like two weeks and got bored of it, it just because there was way too much grinding for my liking. I don't know. Like I felt like I I, I just I constantly fought and fought and fought and fought and didn't get anywhere. I was just like whatever. All right, I'm going to focus on the mission now that we're in here. What am I doing with this shitty gun? Get out my sniper rifle. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can I check out some of these lockers? Oh, come on. There's so many lockers here. you tell me I can't check most of these out? That sucks. Oh, I was going to check some equipment. Do I have better armor for some of my guys? Just out of curiosity. Uh, oh, no, right trigger. Wait, what? No. Did I accidentally switch my armor? No, I didn't. Uh, Ashley, did we get anything new for you that you could use? No. What about... No, okay. Just making sure, just making sure. Uh, okay, we got a weapons locker here. I was hoping I could open more of these. Oh, whoops. Press the wrong button. Been a couple days to get rusty. <laughs> oh, is, uh, the Avenger, is that a better sniper rifle? Nope. Well, that one's way more powerful. F only four less accuracy... I think I'm still going to take as much accuracy as I can get. I can't wait until we get that really awesome sniper rifle I'm thinking of. Wow, that planet exploration took a long time. We're probably just going to hopefully maybe get through this base. Ooh, isn't that the kind I already... No, that's the kind that was really powerful. Still, two sniper rifles. Maybe one of them was better. Yeah, that one's way more powerful. Only three less accuracy for 30 more power. Oh, boy. Oh, wait, shots before overheat. It's better if that number's higher. Um, I think for now I'm going to stick with what I got still. All right, let's clear out this base. Let's do something in this episode. Wow, Ashley, how do you have so many shields? I feel really well equipped. Besides, we're fighting a bunch of Geth. I can tech... Oh, we're not fighting Geth. Okay. Boom. Dead. Wait, can I, like, double zoom in? Is that what I just did? Oh, jeez. Careful, guys. That'll get rid of shields. Okay, we're fighting Husk, because I'd probably pull my pistol out. Just because I can shoot faster. You know, if it's, like, a bunch... It's like, if it's just, like, a group of strong enemies, I would use my sniper rifle, but since we're fighting hordes of Husks, I think it's better to use the pistol. Okay, there we go. Something over here... Over here? Oh, yep, there's a husk. He's just a shell of his former self. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. We got some more enemies in this room. We're gonna open it up and there's a bunch of husks inside. So that's what's gonna happen. I got grenades. Let's throw a grenade. And boom! Awesome. Oh, radar jam. Oh, we got Geth. Where? Oh, they snuck up on us. Tricky bastards. How'd they do that? Oh, God. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Um, 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 overload. Bam. Uh, whoa. That's right. Let's blow shit up, Tolly. Uh, sab sabotage? Okay, whoa. Whoa. Jeez, they came out of nowhere. The Geth are perfect ambushers. They don't breathe, they don't... whatever. They apparently don't even show up on radar. <laughs> Alright. Okay. So. I think that takes care of the enemies here. Uh, ooh. Let's see what we can loot. Let's see what we can loot. Do, 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 do. Crate. Uh, a better chameleon tool. 
Um, uh, Albeit of Coating. Oh, none of this stuff's locked. Duelist Armor. Ooh, I could wield that if it's good. I don't know if it'll be good. We'll check it out. Um... Wait, where is it? Duelist Armor. Nope. Worse in every way. Not wielding. Not wearing. Wait, I thought it was something else. Oh, there's a crate. Oh, new Corian Armor. Survivor 5? Is that better for you, Tali? Is this better armor for you? Uh, yes. What, doubles damage protection plus 50 shields? Yeah, we lose 10 biotic protection, but whatever. Bam! Well, that's, uh, that's pretty classy. Let's go with that. All right, now you guys stay in here. Okay. Did I lock them in? Nope. I thought I pressed the button. Said so my volume is low on my TV so that there's not an echo uh, when I'm making the episode. It'd be cool if I could do something like plug headphones into my TV or something like that so I could I could just do it that way. Maybe there's something I could do like that. I'm just I'm not sure. It's not it's usually not a huge issue. Like sometimes there's some sound based challenges or games where I'm just I'm kinda guessing. Usually I can hear it well enough though. I don't know. I got I'm a musician. I got trained ears. It's usually not a problem. Uh, except for I've been having a problem when I, I do a composite hookup with my capture card. I'm not able to hear. I was having that problem all through my second recording date of Amazing Island. My first one was fine. I've never had that problem before. Um, I'm planning on doing, I mean, by the time this is uploaded, I probably will already have some episodes uploaded of it. I'm planning on doing Pokemon Coliseum next. So hopefully that's not going to be a problem there. It won't be a huge detriment if you if I can't hear, but that game just has such cool music. I'm, I'm real. If I if I'm playing through Pokemon Coliseum, I want to hear it. I want to hear that. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! We got a Geth ambush. Holy crap! Okay, you're dead. Um, I'm just checking my perimeter. Okay, I'm being shot. I should probably check where I'm being shot. Oh my god, there they are. There they are. Uh, overload. Bam. Oh, he's hacked. Good job, Tolly. Where am I being shot from now? Uh, you know what? I, why didn't I just get into the Mako and start blasting him with my tank? This was a much better idea. That would have been a much better idea. Okay, I'm still being jammed. Oh my gosh. Good thing I have so many shields. Oh my gosh. Uh, hey, don't take my tank. I sabotage you. Bam. Did I sabotage my tank? What's that? No! Get away! Get away from my tank! Uh. Sniper. One down, three to go. Okay, here's my indication. Is my, is my tank okay? My tank is badly damaged. Let's go. Oh, holy crap. I think I accidentally sabotaged my tank or something. Oh, I didn't even know I could do that. Well, one planet, one episode. This is going to be a four-parter side quest. Okie dokes. Well, I'll see you guys on the next episode then.